Summer Hill School was founded in 1921 by A.S. Neal, who believed that children should have complete freedom to be themselves. To Neil, that meant providing a place where they could grow up unhindered by adult authority, free from the constraints of moral training and religious instruction. Today, the school is still a self-governing community run by full meetings of staff and children who have equal voting rights. Attendance at lessons is optional, though most pupils study for GCSE exams. But basically, you can do as you please. We spent a term and a half at Summerhill to see how the traditions of the school are maintained in the year of its 70th anniversary. whenever you like and sometimes the silence out from 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock I think or from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock don't really know right so what children do with their freedom is make lots of rules but when we arrived at Summerhill all laws had been abolished including bedtimes I think that the school right now is just, it's almost falling apart, you know? Like at the meeting, half of it is just everyone's coughing and they're ill and they're tired. And it's, just, it's just, we need bedtime back. I don't think the community can actually not, I don't think the community can handle not having bedtimes. Because it's not because people, not because people are being kept awake so much, but because there aren't enough people responsible in the community to stay in the school premises. We've had guys going down the side as well. It seems Denver's out, Fabri M was out. You guys are meant to be the more responsible people who've been here a long time are out. Now, this, if it comes back to us that this is happening at night where there's no bedtimes, this community is going to be in shit. After the meeting, after I'd said, after we'd had no laws, I went into the house and Amy said, what happened at the meeting? And I said, the laws had dropped. And she went, oh my God. And William went, oh my God. Because they remembered what happened last time. Because basically, if you have a community that's a complete anarchy, it fucking all doesn't work. Right? Yeah, yeah The whole yeah. point is that you drop, so that was my reason. And I don't know what Matthew's reason is, and I don't know why everybody else voted for it. But my reason was that I thought... This place is up shit creek. Everybody's just doing their own bloody thing. Everybody's going <laughs> to everybody else. Everybody's thinking about the good for them. They're all thinking about their own ends. Let's drop the fucking laws and see how the school likes it then. And I believe now that the school doesn't like it very much at all. And that those members of the community that are still holding it together with no laws are the members of the community who are all right Jack. They just want to put a finger up at everybody else. Of course they don't want bedtimes. They want to have a complete anarchy. They want to do as they like. I don't know. People have appreciated some of those laws being dropped. I, I don't think some of the laws we had weren't necessary at all, and getting rid of them is good. It has a nice clean out, and we can start fresh. I think that the bedtimes things now is starting to bring in other problems, so maybe we need to bring bedtimes back. Or a few weeks, I'll probably 
fit in with everybody. And I, I mean, I made a couple new friends and some new kids too. And Will, over here, this is the guy. He's a very nice guy, you know why? Because one day, he loves the sand. And when, when there used to be a big hole in the ce ceiling and he wanted to fix it. And there was a rip in the curtain. And he did the cutest little stitching job on it. He just sewed it up with his little needle and thread. And he pops through the window when my sister was almost naked. So do that again, Will. And I'll have to rip your glasses off and shove them up your rectum. Okay? Yes. Ciao. I did my part. I volunteered. I was so nice. Later, a conflict between Sonny and Will broke out. Both were accused of stealing some tapes, and Will's bed was turned over in the process. As a result, they were both brought up at a meeting. Isn't it a little obvious that Will did it? I mean, all the things that he's done, I mean, he's broke, he smashed the milk every day, and then he gets pissed off. He, he, I mean, you know something? Why? He was the one in the room when, when me and James came in. So, well, how could, why the hell are you trying to get me in trouble, Will Will? Anyway. Fucking, you're a bastard, Sonny. I mean, listen, 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 there's William saying, oh, you've done it, and then you go, oh, no, I didn't do it, it's all Will, play that thing of Will. Why, why the fuck, why the fuck do you think he'll turn over his own bed? Roger. Anyway, Sonny, you said before that you followed him straight up the stairs with James, so he couldn't have done it in that time anyway. He did. Hey, hey. Anthony, and his quilt was outside the window anyway, so I'm sure you wouldn't have done that, and you'd be pissed off about that. Will you? This term, there's been lots of stuff being done to people's beds. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's a really shit thing to do because your bed is a place of your own room. It's a place of safety that you can go to at the end of the night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it really stinks that people do this to other people's beds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the community ought to take a Well. Um, you go with the cup and the orange pill. All my, my cups up there, my teddy bears are up there. Everything is up there, but of mine. My towel is up there. So I'm leaving my room. Then there we go. Sorry. Oh, I think it's a little obvious why he wrecked over his bed so it looked like someone else did it. Oh, oh, why would it? Oh, oh, shut up. up! Shut up! You're such an asshole, um, Henry. You're, I wasn't even in, I wasn't even upstairs. Was Isn't it a little up. obvious that Will was up there? And don't try to defend him because you know, everybody knows that it was Will. They just want to get me in trouble because they hate him. Will, shut up! Roll it! Well, I mean, Sonny, it could have been me just as much as Will. I wasn't doing anything when it yeah, happened. Yeah. Could have been. Could have been. Yeah. 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 It's not obvious. You know, often I feel really angry and I go Shut wreck people's up. beds and throw matches around and break bottles just I don't tell everyone about it. It could have been me just as much as anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Henry. Um, I think you should take those that's investigation committee that starts first business. Yeah. 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 He's having a rest. Come on, let's go, sir. Now go. Oh! He just jumped on the bar. You can turn by his You know makes him a toaster. If all the rabbits get us to see. No, we won't have any rabbits at all. Yeah, he's in there, he's in there, he's in there. One go one way, one go the other. Come on, surround him. Come on, Let him go out. Over there. He's there, I see him. So I can't get a nice yes. So Henry, watch it, man, you need to hit his head. That's the idea, isn't it? Wait. What do you want to Henry, let's go. Hey, guys, we're coming. Oh, no. I will. Shut up. Can you go away? Can you go away? Shut up. Why would it? Is it in there? Yeah. Hey, guys, I really don't want a crowd. Sorry. <laughs> Because I want to see how you do it. It's yes, okay, right. so hold it. Head. Head. I, fall I off. Hard down the hill. Finish. Do you really want to watch that? Oh, Fuck it. Jamie.
Oh my god. <coughs> I'm really sorry about that. <coughs> I've never done anything like it in my life. <laughs> Meetings are relied upon to regulate all aspects of school life. Will had persistently harassed an older boy named Henry, who had tried to befriend him. Don't it ask me a question. The reason why I'm always trying to make friends with him is truly to put up scared. Because there's been like four incidents when he's literally picked up a chunk of wood like twice the size of my head and lobbed it at me. There's one time I was sitting next to Nana and she's here and he just picked up this bl block of wood and threw it from point blank range. And he picked up a stick and it whacked me on the back of the head. And he, he picked up a spade and whacked him. I had a bump like, it looked like I had two heads, you know. And it's really scary. I, I was really scared. There's a lot of times I was with Matthew. I couldn't leave his room. I was actually scared. It seems really silly to be scared of him, but it's, it's so scary, you know. So after a while, sometimes I had to say, okay, I'll be your friend. But then when I do that, he just carries on, you know, grabbing me and, you know, won't leave me alone. He'll never get away from me. So I've got to, then, for the past week, I've been telling him to leave me alone, go away from me. Will wants to wrap him around his little finger and have complete power over him. Yeah. 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 Uh, he, he doesn't want friends. He wants complete domination. And that is what's got to stop. Uh, don't worry. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I just I think it's really unfair to make him be sent home because um, these are like a series of events that have all happened at different times and to sort of just to bunch them all together and find him one big find for that. I mean, in a way, you, I suppose you could do that, but I don't think he really thought that at, at any one time he was like doing something that deserved him to get home, sent home for what, like nine weeks or eight weeks, you know? My proposal is that Will can't to Henry uh, at all and uh, you know until he appeals it and then if he does and if he carries on talking to him and carries on harassing him then he gets sent home that's, that's the proposal all in favour <coughs> all against Harry the meeting resolved that Will would be sent home if he continued to harass Henry or even spoke to him again Will just leave him I'll go down to him Okay, go check if he's going down. Come inside. Wait, see if going down. Wait, wait. Hey, James. No, Matthew. What? No, Matthew, seriously. What? Did I hate you in the first place? Yeah. No. Why not? Why should I? You hate me now? Come on, throw it at me. Come on, come on. Shut up, Matthew. What? Why? Okay. What? Okay. what? No, not, no, I've done that. Yeah, sure. I've been brought up a few times, but, um, yeah. I hate you. Okay, right, who called this meeting? Henry? Um, yeah, I'm bringing up Will, because there's a special meeting saying that he's not allowed to talk to me, come near me, and today he... <laughs> He came into the woodwork and I was making something which I'm making for mum. And he he started talking to me and started sort of uh, putting his arm on me and stuff like that. And I was making something and he picked up something that I just glued and it was, it was just sitting there. And he picked up it and he threw it on the floor. And he was talking to me and everything which he isn't allowed to do and he was pushing me around and he wouldn't let me go out of the woodwork for a bit. So, and, I, and I told him I'd bring him out. Okay. I want to propose that Will can come in. That he has to come in. All in favor, Will has to come in. Oh, yes. Okay. Will, can I please come in? Excuse. Will. 
Okay. Can, can you tell him to start a stupid? Absolutely stupid. Hey, you guys quit. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. He, he, everybody knows that there is something wrong in his mind. He needs a school and he also needs some help. But I don't think that he should be sent home. Maybe he should be sent to a psychiatrist. Ki- ki- Whatever the hell it's called. A shrink. To talk, you know? Or somebody. Because that's what, I think that's what he really needs. A lot of talking. He likes attention, and that's what would do good for him. Henry, what do you think we've been trying to do for the past almost a year? You have been here, right? All of this time so far, I've been trying my best to, to help him. Yeah. I've had so many witnesses to that, and he just won't do anything. <laughs> we've done that for so long. You're not a professional. I'm not so proud of you. I agree with you. Yeah, but he does need professional help, but we're not, you know, these guys aren't professionals. Yeah. 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 I think that it's really bad that people are kind of, I don't know, just saying, oh, like you're saying that we're, we're, it's a school, we should be giving him time, but we're not just giving him time, we're risking the school, you know, Phil, Phil keeps on like going downtown, he could get killed downtown if he goes on the rail, you know, all these really dangerous things he's doing, and, and then, yeah, we're not just spending time, but we're risking the school, if Phil was to get killed downtown, the school would, you know, the school would have to pay for it, you know? There are three proposals against each other. One, he gets chucked out till uh, <coughs> next term. One, he gets chucked out for three weeks. One, he gets chucked out for two weeks. Oh, and then, if when he comes back, if he arrests Henry or does anything truly bad, we send him home for the term. One, to, well, in February, he gets chucked out till end of term. I mean, next term. <coughs> Henry, what do Well, if baby gets checked out for two weeks, and if he if he makes more right, then he's sent him again. <coughs> All the baby's checked out for three weeks. It's carried. He's checked out till end of term, till next term. The great sort of um, criticism of schools like this is that it's your sort of William Golding's uh, Lord of the Flies type of um, thing, you know, the, the, the strongest survive, the strongest uh, win through. Whereas, in fact, that actually happens behind closed doors in every single school uh, in this country, but nobody wants to look at it. Nobody wants to really see what, what kids are like. Now here you actually see what kids are like, you see them go through these processes, but because they're dealt with practically instead of morally or by somebody up there looking down, uh, the kids can move beyond that particular period. So if if somebody is, is brought to the meeting, they're not being judged by people that haven't gone through that process, they're being judged by the community as a whole. There aren't the good guys and the bad guys, everyone here. Has, has been in trouble sometimes and has maybe been brought up. <laughs> it does look very sort of bridal, it's just the wrong color. <laughs> Going yeah. steady at Summerhill really is known as pairing up. Right. Naomi and Henry had invited the whole school to celebrate their new relationship. <laughs> to order. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of Summerhill and in the face of the community to join together this man and this woman in holy pairing up. 1P5. <laughs> Wilt thou, Henry Linwood Redhead, have this woman to be thy paired-up partner, to live together according to Summerhill law in the holiest state of being paired up? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honour and keep her, even when she has nits or a bad dose of blood? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honour and keep him, even when he falls off his skateboard and hurts himself or has diarrhea. <laughs> and forsaken all other, keep thee only to each other, so long as ye are not bored with each other. I will. Who giveth this woman to be paired up to this man? <laughs> okay, if you would like to hold hands. The ring, please. 
With this ring, I thee pair up. With this ring, I thee pair up. With my body, I thee pledge much pleasure. With my body, I thee pledge much pleasure. And all my worldly goods. And all my worldly goods. Even my computer. Even my computer. <laughs> With thee I share. With thee I share. In the name of the meeting. In the name of the meeting. The chairperson. The chairperson. And the freedom to not attend lessons. And the freedom to not attend lessons. Amen. Amen. Now, Naomi, will you repeat after me? With this ring, I thee pair up. With this ring, I thee pair up. With my body, I thee pledge much pleasure. Oh. With my <laughs> Take it bit by bit. With my body. With my body. I thee pledge. I thee pledge. Much pleasure. Much pleasure. And all my worldly goods. All my worldly goods. Even some of my special buddies. <laughs> some of my special buddies. With thee I share. With thee I share. In the name of the meeting. In the name of meeting. The chairperson. The chairperson. And the freedom to not attend lessons. And freedom not to attend lessons. Amen. Amen. I now pronounce you properly paired up. <laughs> Henry, you may kiss the bride. Just want to say congratulations. I'll, I'll show, there, are, there are ways of doing that. I'll, I'll, I'll show you that after. It's, um, it's just a different posture, but it, it can be done. It's, uh, because um, when you do shiatsu, you always do that on the floor, mm -hmm. and this, uh, I learned some from my shiatsu class. Try and get a smaller yeah. circuit inside that. Yeah. All the way around. Let your whole hand hold up. Because those muscles are very tight. It's just so suddenly really stiff. I'll just, I'll just show you a quick kneecap massage. So you, you find the point in there, yeah? Two points there. Okay. Where does it hurt there? No, it's not here. And there. Um, can we go and work on, on there so we're going to get enough? Yeah. Okay, can you go and work on that piece? Okay, let me, let, me, let me wear this as a cap. <laughs> no. I only got one. How about we, um, how about we smear the place with this? Really good idea. I mean, there could be sperms anyway. Yeah. You know, who knows? Just put this around my head. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> you first and So you guys know all about this, don't you? I am more about this than my... What about this one, then? What's this one? What do you do with that? That is a thermometer. Correct, but... It is a thermometer, right. But, but right. you know what you need to do with this? You should tell me on this film closer. Um, you shove it up your ass! So basically, you take your body temperature because it changes at different times during the month, and you can tell when you're ovulating. Do you, what's ovulating? You know that? It's when um, the egg inside a woman comes out and can be uh, fertilized by a sperm. Brian, a new pupil, had been harassed by his roommates since his arrival. In an attempt to stop this, the community voted that he should move to another bedroom. Somebody broke into this like a couple days ago because look at the lock. You know, you can just turn it. And you just listen, you know. As a matter of fact, they broke my old box, you know, with this. They made those dents on the sides with this. I don't even know who this hell this is, you know? No proof that it wasn't that. And, um, you know, that little latch that. 
this thing. You see right here? Uh huh. They took it like smashed over with this. You know, this is like a deadly weapon. <laughs> but maybe this moving of rooms is going to be a solution. I think you should really give a good try to your new room. And yeah, I know. About you I heard. Um. I heard. Whoa. That they didn't want me to go into their room. Tonight. James. James. Yeah. Is that right? People in the other room don't. You know, the rest of them. Sleeping. sleeping in their room. Um, That's you know, the vote. My bed is here. So either you give me a hand with this, right. or I get someone else to give me a hand with this. How about I give you another hand with this? What's wrong with sleeping in there? It's yeah. just as bad as Why? You. Look, we what can't. What have they done? What have they done? Hey, did you bring you? You told me sod all, and you expect me to go in there and make your bloody head with it. No, I don't. Well, tell me what the fuck you want me to do. Get Henry. No, because I get Henry. Henry wants. What kind of thing can you do? Oh, okay. Henry. Oh, 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 どうも出てってんねん。今ね、ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ちょっと、ごめんなさい。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ち
you know, and often you find that one person who's constantly coming to the meeting and, and being a victim is in fact is in fact not is in fact not a victim at all all the time because their level of hate is also coming out on somebody else or to other people. So, hello, darling. Do you in your box? <laughs> you don't have to like. You want to be yourself, not someone else. You know, at the school especially because that's one of the meanings of it. And I think that's pretty good because it means like that you shouldn't have to be all all um, saying that um, you know adults are the only people that know what's going on and they're the only ones that you should listen to and kids aren't important when kids really are the people that are gonna you know take care of the adults when they get older you know they're gonna be in old nursing homes when the kids are gonna be you know doing something and doing their lives that's why my dad loves the school and I love it what's he Oh, I'm a devil. Go back to hell. I'm a werewolf. Go back to hell, you werewolf. Sorry. Okay. Beautiful mini gash, which he got by that, which he's using. And his legs, as you can notice, have been. He has been in an explosion, a car wreck, and been shot and stabbed. This is the man that's going to win the first prize in tonight's Halloween costume party. We don't need no thought control Older girls on the Halloween committee had bought sweets as prizes for costumes and games. While Kirsty was dancing, a boy named Denver was seen taking them. See, and that's, and that's how many smarties are I'm so sick of Denver. I'm so sick of him. And then when he done not try going up there to get him back, he wouldn't even give him back. Okay, because he's, he's gone away. He's got a fucking box of candy. He's chewing away with a tar. He's gonna, he gonna hide in his room or something. No doubt. I mean... He too. No, just right. Trust him. We're gonna uh, call a special meeting about you and Denver. No, not now. Why me? To, we have to do. Because, uh, think about it. <laughs> why are you? Why are you saying anything? Yeah, oh, well, you, you didn't say anything. The lollipops. They were prizes as well. You I know told that. you that. Yeah. He just put it in my mouth. Only one. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not me who's gonna win the prizes. We have to think about what we're gonna do to prizes. We're gonna give them about every one. Prizes. That's a fucking big. We have to give them a little sweet. That big. A penny sweet. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No, I hear Stop it. sharpening that one. Snap it. Snap it about with that. Uh, snap it about here. Put a knife in it and then just make it into a point. Right. Oh my God. But I mean, <laughs> it's not going to work. Oh, at least I don't think it is anyway. That's always what I'm doing. Would you have lost one of the arrows? No, you haven't. You only came out of one. No. Yes. And I saw you on the other Okay. Oh, there must be a little one up there. Yeah, there's a big one over there. Help! Oh. Help! <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch, Dunbar! Oh. The catch has walked over it! <laughs> These guys are weapon crazy. Yeah. They're always yeah. rushing yeah. around with yeah. knives and things. They want to fucking cause some anger. You can be <laughs> just a tree, you know. So to pretend that they need a dart more to play with, it's just, you know, a lot of other people might want to play with darts, but these guys want blood, you know, they want a real ag aggro weapon, and that's why I think they're so fucking bad, because they can, that's why they can intimidate other kids. Then, uh, I haven't actually threatened anyone. Henry, I've kept them in my pouch most of the time, but I'm um, there. I suppose that people who want to make exceptions are only allowed to throw them at dartboards and nowhere else, not on the floor. Mm. Yeah, in the woods of trees as well and at dartboards and that's it. That's if his that's if, it, that's if his exception gets carried. If it doesn't then you're not allowed to talk. Take Roger's camera. Why can't why only darts get confiscated? Why not knives too? I mean Demo's probably is nice. He's got very dangerous. Can I just remind people that if there is a, a problem with danger because of weapons, you can go to an ombudsman, you can get the weapon confiscated till the tribunal, till it can be sorted out. And I really think that it's important enough for all sorts of cases to have a list of ombudsmen for that week on the notice board. And I think someone in particular should do that. And I think it works much, much better when this happens. Um, I don't know how we got to be friends again. I think that it was so little that I just decided, oh God, I'm so sick and tired of being in a fight with her. And so I just sort of made up with her one day. I went to her. And, and I don't know what happened, really, but... I wanted to go to you, but... Oh! <laughs> I just said, oh, fuck this. I'm not... <laughs> it wasn't big anyways. Anyways, I was in a... There's just some prizes, like a fucking rose. I know, but I mean, off. also, you lied to us. But I'm not getting into that. I'm not... Stacy. We have to try to be in case. What's it about? What's it about? Marlborough. She's lost about 17 quid of mine. It's not in money, but it's about in makeup. A shitload, and it's expensive. And a makeup. Okay, okay. okay. What about Rodis? Um, you didn't kind of clarify that question, right? Because night after dark is like after. Seven. 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 All the go, she's gonna try to do her place. All against. Carrie. Denver, get back. Get back. Okay. Um, I've given Marva three days to give these back, because about three days ago we had a fight, and it was in her room on the table by her bed. Yeah, at the end of her bed. And she said she gave it to a Donna to give to me. Now that is total crap. That is total bullshit. She never gave it to a Donna. And I want my fucking makeup back. And if she's lost it, she's gonna have to pay for it. I have a camera. Mama, you said you gave me the pack, the, the uh, makeup, and that is a, a complete lie. I couldn't understand why you would lie like that. You never gave it back to me. I would give it to Stacey if you gave it to me. Christ, old man, you know I would. That's a fucking lie. You came in, took it out, okay? And that is not a lie. You said, can I have the bag because Kirsty wants it, okay? Laurie, two p fine. And you just want Sunny, to fight with me. Roger. I agree with Mark. I suppose that. An ominous one sign deals with it and then brings it back to a special meeting or something because we're just going to argue about it forever. Maybe the money. I'm, I'm making that proposal that an ominous one deals with it, okay? As well. Can I take your proposal? Yeah. Can I take your proposal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've got a proposal. 
and proposals that the following people now act as an investigation committee. And those people are Henry, <coughs> Rowley, Tomo, uh, Roger, Mirai, uh, Isabella, Sarah Fox, um, Naomi, and there's one other person. Who's the other person? Tomo, did I mention him? Yeah. Albert. Albert. Okay, and they have the power now to go and search the following areas, which are um, Mavra's room, Kirsty's room, Tamsin's room, the girl's shack, and Diana's room. So that's my proposal. Uh, oh, the, other, the, other, the other thing in that proposal is that nobody's allowed to go into those areas until they've been searched. No, I will not get out. How dare you kick her out of her own fucking room? She has a goddamn orthodontal appointment, and they... How dare they? <laughs> At least I can do it when she's there. I mean, Christ, how... How dare they? They have no right. They have got a right that they can go in. Okay. What do you want me to say to you? Say that I've got a right to be in here. Let's go, come on. No, Okay, then we'll stay in here. Let's Good, let's do it. Speak for me, okay, Donna? Okay! Jamie! Come on down! Jamie! Because uh, me and Albert and Tomo went down to Tamsin's room, <coughs> and Tamsin is saying that she doesn't want us to search her room um, when she's not in there, because she doesn't, I mean, it's kind of like she's saying it's her right and her privacy, and that it's only fair that way, and, um, but I think, I'm not sure what the proposal was. I think it was, um, it was that they, they're not in there and that no one goes in there. Um, but she's saying that she thinks that's completely unfair. Um, and we're calling a special meeting to, to not clarify and find out what she's I think I should at least be allowed to have the right to be in there while I get searching yeah, yeah. to all my stuff. Right. Well, Don, it was voted on in the meeting, you know. I'm just saying it. Just so you okay, I'm just saying it really stinks that there's a whole load of blokes um, <coughs> searching the girl's room. I mean, they're all sorts of private things, you know. Yeah. So we're going to know sort of what kind of tampons she used and everything else. And but I mean, if it was my room, I'd really want to be there to know yeah. what parts of my private life people know about. You may be quite a try and get um, some girls on investigation to be we did. But the, pro the problem is that most of the older girls were involved in it in some form or other. These guys brought the case. We're trying to do it for them. And we're, try, we're trying to clear the whole thing up. And now they're, they're the ones that make it awkward. I mean, if you choose to drop your case, then drop your case. But, you know, if you want us to do the case, let us do it this way. Stacey. If this is causing so much hassle, I might as well just drop the case. They were just looking and giggling and saying, oh, they just wanted the money. Now, that is complete bollocks. But listen, you know, I mean, this is one of the, the, the privileges of being a carriage kid. You know, you get your own room, you get your own dressers, you know, you get, you get your own things, and you're allowed to put whatever the hell you want to put in them without, without Roger, who's a fucked up little boy, Mirai, who's also a fucked up little boy, and Tiashius is also a fucked up little boy. They're all this little gang. And Big Matthew, the staff, has this, these favorites. And he'll do that. And he said, oh, I've tried to put as much girls on it as, <coughs> as I can, you know. That is complete bullshit. Isabella, you know, that's all I can remember. I know. Naomi. They were even slagging off Tams and saying, oh, she might have a vibrator under her pillow. That is the worst thing I've ever, ever heard in Summerhill. No, the way they mean. had the guts to say that in front of me. I just told them to fuck off and not to slag her off. And they fucking well did shut up. They're fucking scared of us. And also, Stacey, you're never going to get your stuff back. You I know, that to, really sucks. You have to know that now. You're never going to get it back. And Mama just lies through her teeth because she knows she can get away with it. I mean, Al, all the staff here have no idea, you know, no idea what Neil would think. Neil's probably turning over in his grave right now. Like, the staff should be considered as carriage kids. They should have to propose that they're allowed to smoke in their room. They should have to propose that they can do whatever they please because they could just go downtown any time of the night. I think there should be an actual age group. You can't go downtown with more with less than three people, even if you are a staff. Because staff can just go downtown at 12 o'clock at night, go to the pub and get pissed and come back at three in the morning. Now that fucking sucks if the kids can't do that. Now we go to the page. What we're going to do, let me show you, is you've got a metal can around the outside, we're going to use the same one again. 
It's outside. It's here from there. In the bottom there's sand. Where's the tin? And then on top of that you've got the tin a mixture over there. of this stuff, which is barium peroxide. Mm -hmm. And How do you explain this bit? Magnesium. This bit. Yeah, Smile it. Hmm? Can we feel it? This is just um careful to start stacking it. Oh there's Okay. Oh, yeah. Funny yeah. 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 That was loud. My dad said, Hey Brian, you remember we were gonna go have a visit? You know, um, like next year? How how would you like to have it earlier? And I'm like, hey, that's nice, you know? And then my mom gets on the line and says, Well, how do you like the good news? I'm like, I like it, you know. And then, because I want to see my friends and stuff, and then my brother comes out and says, well, how do you like the news about moving back to England? I'm like, wait a sec, moving back to America? And they said, moving back to America, so I'm moving back. They yeah, have this term. I've only been in England about four months. But are you going to be sorry to leave Summerhill? Yeah. Why? At first you hated it. You used to say, I want to get well, out of here. But I'm getting used to it now. I'm just I just started getting used to it, and now I'm exactly you know like with the crowd and stuff, and then I have to leave. It's just unfair, you know. Mega unfair. Sonny, watch out! I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> you can't live forever. Even with the laws reinstated, bedtimes remained a problem. The bedtimes, or Betty's officers, were given a hard time as the term came to an end. I like, I like getting a good night's sleep, and I like knowing that there's someone that isn't going to find me they're making noise. But I don't like doing bedding officers if I get shit from everyone. I mean, I can't just carry on doing this when everyone's got always giving me shit. It sucks. Ina. Yeah. Yeah. If bedtime's officers' business is not working, surely the community must get together and think of a better way of dealing with bed, uh, bedtime defaulters. I don't see why these people should have to put up with so much shit when they're doing a the job. The place we're living in now is not a very pleasant place. Everything you say to everybody, you get a snarl back. It's just absolutely... Yeah. Well, that will do something about it then. You yeah. just sit back on your asses all day long and let this wash over you as if it's no concern of yours. And it is a concern of yours. You help run this school. You help make these laws. And if you make laws, then you should keep them. Okay. Yeah, I just want to sort of say to you know, the, the people that abuse the bedders officers. The bedders officers are actually protecting the freedom of the people in the school that want to sleep. Yeah. All of the bedders officers are going to work on one night. So we're going to have seven bedders officers on one night. So you guys better watch out and we're going to be mega strict. <laughs>
Just have enough food. This was called a nice lunch. I'm going to find Nana. Never knows what is hers and what is not. Mm. That's one advantage of sending your kids here. You don't have to spend money on clothes. Rolly, what's happened to you, my dear? Rolly Gaines is really a Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>